Hey everyone, welcome back to Daily Tuition. In this tutorial, we are going to write the program to short an array in ascending order. In the previous video, we had learned how to get minimum and maximum value from an array element. In this video, we are using minimum and maximum number to short an array, right? So this is my main.js file and the right side I have my console, right? Using the arrow function, we are going to short an array, right? So I will just create an anonymous function here using arrow function. So I will just say let short is equal to and call the arrow function here, right? So I will just say bracket and call an array. So when you specify only one argument to the arrow function, you don't need to specify bracket here. So I will just say array here, array and specify arrow here and call my function, right? So I will say constant a r r y 2 and specify square bracket we are using this array to store short array right just after that i will create position variable and specify zero value to that variable and then we are going to create max variable and specify default value so i will just say array and specify zero index to the max variable and do the same for the minimum value also so i will just say mean specify array and specify zero index value to the mean variable right so using for loop we are going to find out maximum number in the previous video we had learned how to find out the maximum number so we are using the same code here so i will just say for oops i will first comment here and say maximum number and say for let j is equal to 0 and the j is less than array dot length and we are going to increase the size of j by 1 right so here we are going to add if condition so i will just say if max value is less than array of j then we will execute max is equal to array of j right so we are specifying the maximum value in the max variable this for loop will store maximum value in the max variable right just after that here i will create two for loops the first for loop is to store ascend so the first for loop will store the minimum value on zero to end position so i will just say for here and just say let i is equal to zero i is less than array dot length and i plus plus right so i will just say here array two and specify index value so i will just say i here and specify minimum value to the array right we don't have minimum value right now so i just wanted to find out the minimum value from an array so i will just create a nested for loop here so i will just say for let k is equal to zero k is less than array dot length and the k plus plus so we'll just increase the value of k by one right just after that here i will just find out the minimum value of an array to find out the minimum value we are using the same if condition here also so i will just say if mean is greater than array of k right if this condition become true then we'll say mean is equal to array of j right so the second loop this one find the minimum number right so this loop will find the minimum number and store in the minimum variable and then we are going to store this minimum number in the array on i position right and just after that, I will just 
return the statement from here so I will just say return and I want to do return an array here so I will just say array here right now we just wanted to find out what this array is returning right now so I will just say let here and create an array so I will just say rry is equal to and create an array here so I will just say 1 minus 5 minus 3 2 and 4 right just after that I will just say console.log and call this short function right this one short and here we just wanted to specify this array argument right so I will just say a r r y here right so I will just specify this array here and when we execute this oops I think here is k so when you execute this you will get your minimum number right so now we have our minimum number array here right now we just wanted to short this array right so we have minimum number right now now I just wanted to show you how you can short this array I will just call my position variable here this one I will just call this position variable here and specify value of the k variable so it means when you find your minimum number I just wanted to store the index value in the position variable let's say you have this array and this array has a minimum number minus 5 on the first position right so this k so this k variable will store one position variable right so when we have the index of the minimum number we just wanted to specify null on this position right so what we will do is here i will just say array and in the square bracket i will specify position variable and then say null here right so when you execute this you will get the same outcome now here i will just check if the array position is equal to null then we don't want to execute this if statement right so i will just create an if statement here and in the expression i will say array of k is not equal to null right and if this array is not equal to null we just wanted to execute this statement so i will just cut and paste this statement here right just after that i just wanted to specify maximum value to the minimum variable so when we have the null position we just wanted to start this for loop again to start this for loop again we just want to specify maximum value to the minimum variable for loop will iterate again and give us minimum value so I will just say mean here and specify maximum value to the mean variable right that's it this is your ascending order array right so you have your short array right now it's very simple so what we had done here we will just specify null on the position where we got the minimum number let's say here this is my array 1 minus 5 minus 3 2 and 4 right so here when we got your minimum number using this for loop we will just specify null on the position where we got the minimum number right so here we got the minimum number on the first position right here so when we got the minimum number we will specify that minimum number on the zero index of array 2 and store the null value on the first index right here this array will look like this right just after that this for loop will iterate again and check minimum number from this array so right now the minimum number from this array is minus 3 so this array will store the minus 3 in the array 2 variable and specify null 
on the second position so this will store null here then this for loop will execute again and find the minimum number from this array so we have minimum value 1 here so this array will store 1 on the i position and store null on the 0 index right here right so this for loop will execute itself where the i is greater than array dot length right and when we specify the null index to the variable we'll specify maximum value to the mean variable because we wanted to store a maximum value in the mean variable to find out the minimum value it is easy to find out minimum value when we have maximum value in the array right so that is why we specify maximum value to the mean variable and find out the minimum number using this if statement right i hope you understand what we had done here you are free to make your own program to find ascending and descending order i hope you like this tutorial if you find anything useful then must press the like button subscribe to this channel and press the bell icon that is all for now we will see you in the next tutorial